the quarterback uh, I'll put it at three is Eli Manning. <laughs> okay, this got kind of personal. It's nothing to Eli, but I have a really close friend who is a huge Giants fan. Okay. okay. <laughs> and uh, back in 2012, we were up on the Giants, and they made this miraculous comeback. And I always put it on me. I said, you know what? If I had sacked Eli, that wouldn't have happened. So come 2015, we play him again. I don't sack Eli. Okay. Come 2017, I don't sack Eli. Okay. And I didn't get to Peyton. So I said, you know what? This is starting to get personal. <laughs> I, Eli, I love you. Come 2018, I got him twice. Two. We got him both here. Yes. Here's the second I one. I got him twice. Hey, thank you, Eli, for being on Athletic. <laughs> That's one. Was that one and then, and Yes, it counts. Okay. Asterisk. We take them all. And then this was that in the fourth legit. quarter. Yeah, this nice. got us the ball to go down and try and win the game. So that was like a huge play in the game. And there's a clip online of a kid yelling at me. A kid <laughs> from the stands was like, hey, Gerald, don't touch Eli no more. I'm going to come down there and bust you up. I'm Welcome like, to New York. yeah, and I turned around like, yeah, all right. Yeah. You know, but that, listen, Eli, for sure. I'm sorry, Eli. You know I love you. I talked to Eli. It was personal, though. I had to get to Eli. You got him finally. Number yes. two, who do you got? Number two. I mean, when we talk about the GOATs of the game, uh -oh. like, who wouldn't want to get to the GOATs of the game? You know, Jason Tatum, his rookie year, he dunked on LeBron. Yeah. I'm sure everybody <laughs> would like to cross over Jordan. Iverson's most famous moment was crossing over Jordan. Who wouldn't want to sack the GOAT? Tom Brady. Mm. Listen, you know, when you finally get to Tom Brady, this is the same thing. It got personal. This is Tom Brady. He is the GOAT. Played Tom Brady in the preseason in 2011. I count all sacks. Didn't get to him in 2011. <laughs> we played him in 2013. We we played it uh, in training camp. In squad, we practiced yeah. against New England. Okay? Couldn't touch him in practice, but yeah. then we played him in preseason. He only played one drive. I was like, it's okay. 2013, we played him that season. I'm going to kill you when we get to yeah, New yeah. England. Didn't sack him. Didn't get him. Okay? Mm. This right here was literally my first sack of the season. Thursday night this year, game. Thursday night game. I got him. Look at my reaction. Look, do you see how confused I look? Because I was in disbelief. Did I just sack Tom Brady? And I got to the sideline. I wish they had it on camera. I literally grabbed my helmet and did this. Yeah. I said, shocked. I, I said, I finally did it. Oh my gosh, I got that. You listen, sacking the GOAT, always a great feeling. So good. All right. Yes. The number one quarterback that you enjoyed sacking most was? The number one quarterback that I enjoyed sacking most is actually my favorite player in the NFL. And I will have to go with Aaron Rodgers. Mm. Yes, I sacked Aaron Rodgers. And you know what happened? 2011, I got hurt. Okay. We played Green Bay, didn't get to play him. 2014, I was hurt again, <laughs> didn't get to play him. 2017, we went up to Green Bay. He was hurt. <laughs> I didn't get to play him. The one time I played against Aaron Rodgers, they will tell you, that week, I told my coaches, I said, I don't know if I ever play him again. He's going on the I'm mantle. He's going on the mantle this week. I sacked him on this play. I went to the sideline. My dad has missed probably six games my entire life. Six. I turned around. My dad was sitting in the snow, and I turned around, and my dad was like, Yes. Oh, that's awesome. Yes. He didn't say nothing. After the game, he embraced me. We didn't win this game, but he came and hugged me, and he whispered in my ear, we did it. Because <laughs> he knew the goal of mine is sack Aaron Rodgers. Crazy story about this. Aaron Rodgers, I don't know how many jerseys he gave out. After this game, I said, A-Rod, I've told you many times, you're my favorite player, I love you. Can I please have this jersey? Like, I have to have this one. He said, i get it to you. We get in the locker room. No jersey. I'm grilling the equipment staff. Where is the Aaron Rodgers jersey? <laughs> Nobody sent nothing? Nothing? They didn't send anything? No. I was the last person on the bus waiting on Aaron Rodgers jersey. <laughs> nothing. I said, oh, he's an a-hole. He didn't give me his jersey. Yeah. Walk in Monday morning. It's right there. It's hanging in my locker at the stadium. Aww. Listen, I started screaming. Everybody said, what happened? I said, look. They was like, oh! I said, yeah. Going on the mantle. 